So one question that I got a lot more than I actually thought I was going to get when I first bought my car was, do you regret buying a manual? Um, and that was never something that I really thought of until I was asked the question. And then I got asked it a few times. And then some people started saying, you know, like, hey, I'm looking to buy a BRZ, like some of you guys, should I get an automatic? Should I get a manual? What should I do? And I kind of want to talk about what you should do. Like, I can't never tell anybody what they should do. Everybody's got their own situation. But I'm going to tell you why you might want to make certain decisions and why I don't regret buying a manual transmission. So, I bought my manual transmission because I'm a little bit all over the place. I have, like, a really, I have a hard time paying attention to things for a long period of time. So when I drive an automatic, such as my truck, um, I'll notice, say, if I wasn't making this video and I just left there and I'm going up back to my house and I wouldn't really remember the drive. Like, I'd get home and I would have been in my own world doing whatever, not paying attention, just kind of driving. And that's okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm sure most people kind of do find that they do that. Um, and even once you drive a manual for a while, you kind of get used to it, but it's a little bit different because you have to be aware of what's going on. Um, so I like driving a manual because it keeps me more engaged. It keeps me more focused. I have to pay attention to what's going on around me. I can kind of, like if you're not paying attention, you're going to mess yourself up. Basically is what I'm trying to say. An automatic's a little bit more mindless. So that's the biggest one for me. But I really don't regret buying it. Like a lot, I guess a lot of people buy them and maybe they live in the wrong area for it or something and they, they don't end up liking it. Um, but basically, it kind of depends where you live and what your plans are for the car. Because yeah, driving a manual may impress all the girls at school, and yeah, driving a manual may impress all the guys at the car meet, but it's not about if you're impressing the guys at the car meet, if you're impressing girls at school. It's not about that. It's about you drive this car every day, or maybe it's not your daily, but you drive this car. Do you enjoy driving it? Are you having fun driving it? Do you want, like, I look at my BRZ right now, I'm waiting on my, uh, my gaskets for the coilovers. And I look at my car and I get sad because I really want to drive it. Like, it just, I just love driving that car. But some people go, oh, like, I don't want to drive my car. Like, it's a manual. Like, I wish I bought an automatic. Like, I don't, let's, can we just take your car kind of thing? And that's just two different sides of people, I guess. So basically, if you live where I live, I live kind of outside the city, close enough that I can get there in like a half an hour, 45 minutes, but I'm outside of the city to the point where there's no traffic, rush hour, there's no nothing. Um, I go through like a small little town to get to work. Uh, I go through like a small little town and then I take like 80 kilometer an hour highways and like they're, they're kind of more fun than a highway because they're not like a, or a freeway, I guess, if you live in the States. They're not like a freeway, it's just like an 80 kilometer an hour road and it's like a little twisty turny, couple lanes, um, and it, to me it's fun. It's like it's like high-speed back roads. I don't, I don't know what you call it, but it's not highway. It's not straight like this road I've been on is just straight and it sucks um, But it does let me have a little more fun in my car and I don't know if you're if you're driving a manual sometimes It's nice to just be able to throw in gear and just cruise um, not have to always be shifting So if you live in the city and you buy a car and you're thinking of buying a BRZ That's good, but are you going to autocross it? Well, not autocross necessarily, but just track it at all. Are you going to do anything with it where you're going to need the manual? Do you just enjoy driving manual? Do you get sick of changing gears? Like, these are all things you have to consider. And if nothing, I would take someone else's car and try and drive it through rush hour traffic or drive it in a bad situation and see, like, if I do this every day, is this going to be something that gets old to me? Because personally, when I go to the city, I just, I despise it. So I'll go to the city you know, like once in a while for car shows or whatever, I don't mind, like I'll sit in some traffic here and there, but if I get stuck in rush hour traffic in my car, there's nothing more annoying than not being able to just kind of inch forwards, inch forwards, inch forwards, but you actually have to ride your clutch. And to me, it's not the matter of riding the clutch um, and moving up, moving up, moving up, instead of just letting my foot off the brake. It just hurts my soul when I'm riding my clutch all the time. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that feel that, that it just breaks my heart to just always be riding the clutch. And I just know I'm just hurting myself doing it. So I don't regret buying a manual at all. I love ripping my car around. It gives you way more freedom. You choose the gears, not the computer. You get to, like when you're autocross or tracking or anything, you're in way more control. You can get better gas mileage. The car is lighter. A BRZ specifically doesn't have a CVT, which sucks. And there's just a lot of reasons why I'm glad that I bought my manual, but it don't, when you're gonna buy a car, don't do a lot of research seeing ooh, what people say, what they judge. If you watch this video and you're thinking about buying a car, just do what's best for you. 
Is it gonna think about yourself and your situation? If anything, just be scared of buying a car that you're not comfortable with. If you really are set on buying a manual, like when I bought my car, I really wasn't that good at it. Um, I did it work a lot, but it was just like ripping them around. It wasn't like learning, driving in traffic every day all the time. I really wasn't that good about it. And I'm a very much a perfectionist, so I still have days where I suck at driving my car. Because if I miss one shift or I'm a little bit sloppy, my body goes into panic mode and it's not anything I can control, it just happens. And I start going out, I just, I do everything really quickly instead of being smooth because I panic. And that's allowed, like you're allowed to have off days. And you're allowed to buy a manual and not necessarily be the biggest fan of it. If you're kind of, you know, on the fence between should you get a manual or should you not get a manual, truthfully, no one can tell you that. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and try and make a video, yes you should, no you shouldn't. I would buy a manual in most situations. But if your situations don't line up, like I said, if you're never gonna use the manual to its full potential, if you're just driving it as a daily, if you're in the city, if there's traffic, um, whatever, if your situation's not gonna work, don't let other people bring it down and say you shouldn't get an automatic, whatever. Everything's going automatic anyways, which does suck. Um, there's a lot of pros, there's a lot of cons. This isn't really a pros and cons video. This is just a, I bought my car almost a year ago and it was my first manual transmission car and do I regret buying it, making the switch and living my life with a manual instead of the automatics that I'm used to? And the straight out answer is no. I love it and I'm happy I did it and it's taught me a lot and I would do it again. I don't know if I'd want all my cars to be manuals um, just because I like having a car where I can go for like a relaxing drive to the city and not have to worry about it and stuff like that, but I would totally buy my car again in my situation and everybody's situation is different and that's it. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up because that would help me out and click on one of those videos you're about to see in the annotation at the end screen. And remember guys, this video couldn't have said it more. Do what makes you happy. Peace out guys.